Hello, I'm a Pseudomonas aeruginosa. I'm a naturally occurring bacterium that can be found in the environment all around you. And I'm a superbug. When I get into one of you humans, I can cause nasty infections at different sites all over your body. My two worst enemies are the phagocytes from your body's immune system, who eat me, and the antibiotics you use to treat infections, which kill me. However, I'm a sociable bacterium, and when my friends and I get together as a community, we form what is called a biofilm, otherwise known as a slime city. Grouped together like this, we are 1,000 times more resistant to your body's immune system and antibiotics than when we are on our own. This is dangerous for you because it means your infections spread and can even be fatal. This causes the NHS billions of pounds a year in treatment and is particularly problematic when infections occur at sites where you have medical devices fitted, such as venous catheters, heart stents, bladder catheters and endotracheal tubes. The key to understanding how and why we form biofilms is to know that we Pseudomonas aeruginosas are decisive bacteria. There are surfaces that we love and others that we hate. When we approach a new surface, we feel it with our tail-like flagella. If we like what we feel, we stick down and grow little hairs called pili, which we use to attach firmly. But if we don't like what we feel, we swim away as fast as we can. As soon as one of us is securely attached at a surface, we send out messages to tell our friends to come and join us. Once they've also stuck down and we're all settled in, we start to excrete matrix molecules, which join together to form our biofilm. Inside of this, your body's immune system can't fight us and your antibiotics can't reach us, so your infections continue to spread. But if you use super biomaterials that we bacteria don't like to make your medical devices, then your infections will clear up and you will save lives. If, however, we superbugs do succeed in forming a biofilm, then you have another option of fighting us, drug delivery systems. This is a polymer nanoparticle, a small virus-like particle whose job it is to carry antibiotics into our biofilm. You can think of this like a bus that can drive into our slime city to drop its passengers off. Each passenger is like a snake, a polymer chain that holds a molecule called a biofilm disruptor in its mouth and an antibiotic particle beside its body. On entry to the acidic environment of our slime city, the snake drops these particles, which then cause havoc for us bacteria. The biofilm disruptors interrupt our messaging so we break apart from each other allowing your antibiotics and immune system to attack us. And ultimately, our biofilm is destroyed. The result of all of which is that your infections clear up and you can get on with your normal life. So, you can see how important this research is. If you use super biomaterials that we bacteria don't like to make your medical devices and use drug delivery systems to get your antibiotics into our biofilms to destroy them, then you will be better able to control the spread of infection, making treatment more effective, saving lives and saving the NHS billions of pounds. Leaving the only one unhappy about all of this? Me, the Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Not so super now, am I? Research matters. Hello. Last year, I led a University of Nottingham stand called Super Biomaterials to fight super bugs. We focused on bacterial infections and material solutions to fight them. We'd like to update you on what's happened since then. So hand washing has really hit the news this year. So we'd thought we'd give you an update on the results from an experiment we carried out at the Royal Society and pass on tips for reducing infection risks as you return to work and education. 
On the stand, we talked to a science correspondent from the Times, leading to a story about how we hope that catheters will cut infections by keeping bacteria happy. We'll update on the science behind that headline. But first, over to you, Kim, to tell us about contact transfer. Thanks, Morgan. I'm the microbiologist co-lead for the Superbiome Materials to Fight Against Superbug stand, where we started the Great Greetings experiment. We wanted to simulate germ transfer between people to see if more could be transferred with a handshake or with a high five. To do this, we built a special box and we designed bespoke software that could quantify an iridescent lotion that we placed on our hands. We then had a lot of fun waving, high-fiving and handshaking with more than a thousand participants. We were reassured to see in our graphs that no germs appeared to get transferred with the wave, but with the handshake and high-five, the other two greetings, there was a similar amount of transfer to the front of the hands. Only the handshake transferred anything to the backs of the hands and people were amazed at the finger shapes they could see on the back of the hand in their photos. Here's Birta to tell you more about why this is important. During the current pandemic, you will probably have heard lots of songs and poems about good hand hygiene. For this recording, we did a little experiment where we used powder to contaminate our hands. We didn't wash our hands right away, and at the end of the day, we used a UV lamp to look for the powder, and it was everywhere. We found it in the kitchen, in the bathroom, and everywhere else around the rest of the house. So keep washing your hands well, keep yourself safe from COVID-19 and at the same time protect yourself from other germs. Because at the end of April, there were more than 122,000 COVID-19 deaths worldwide. However, did you know that infection rates predict there will have been twice as many deaths related to antimicrobial resistant infections during the same time period? So it's really important to find ways to protect ourselves by keeping our hands clean from bacteria and viruses. Because the pandemic has shown us that it's crucial for the public as well as for healthcare workers to avoid contamination. That's why we are continuing our work to find new strategies to prevent superbug infections and to save these lives. So Toma will now tell you more and I would better go off and wash my hands again. Last year, as a PhD student, I participated at the Royal Society Summer Science Exhibition and we showed you novel polymers that are able to prevent hospital-acquired infections from bacteria such as Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Early findings at the time indicated that media nutrients adsorbed onto the surfaces of these polymers actually played a key role in bacteria decision-making, if to form biofilms or not to form biofilms. I have since progressed to become a postdoctoral researcher at the university and I have conducted further research. Our conclusions are, on polymer surfaces with increased amounts of adsorbed nutrients, bacteria do not progress to form biofilms. On the contrary, on polymer surfaces with reduced amounts of adsorbed nutrients, bacteria actually do progress to form the more difficult to treat biofilms. Such insight and current finding is a first step towards understanding how these novel polymers discovered here in Nottingham actually do work.